Hello and welcome. In this introduction to um, computer networking, we will uh, we will learn how uh, what is a network and uh, what are the components of the network, what are the functions of a network, and what are the application that um, uses network to operate, and why we need a network in the first place. So let's start. As you can see here on the slide, okay, we have this is actually a a, a network, which is we have the internet, okay, and usually we refer to the internet with the uh, cloud, okay, and we have the headquarter. The headquarter is the headquarter company that is connected through the internet to reach a uh, branch office either on the same state or on the same uh, city or a broad um, uh, big or uh, large geographical distances okay and also we have the home office which is ties also to the internet and we have the mobile user or telecommuter that can use um, cafes public places to connect to either headquarter or the branch office and so on. So this is uh, the basic um, computer network. Okay, so the first thing that comes to mind, why network? And what is network actually in the first place? Well, uh, the network is a uh, collection of devices that can communicate together and share resources. Okay, Res resources like what? Like um, printers, like files, okay? Like uh, phone calls and video and so on, okay? So uh, the network in our days is something important. Everybody, you know, send emails. Everybody use phone calls and everybody uh, use um, uh, web browsers to you know to navigate in an internet and so on to pay the bills and you know so the internet is um, become something fundamental in our lives so let's check what is um, the uh, the network. So, as you can see here, the network is the way or the infrastructure that the applications use, okay? That, um, as this user right here is, uh, let's say, is uh, connecting remotely to the branch office. Let's say he's an administrator, for example, connecting to the branch office and uh, doing some configuration or retrieving data or something like that. That's is the network okay so um, and why we need it we need it to share files right to share files files and printers right files we share um, printers okay we need it also to um, to make uh, calls, right? To make calls and the video using video conferencing, for instance, right? So um, and we have um, a lot of types of a, a network. For example, we have here a home office. This home office, if we will to um, check what's inside, we will find a router, right? That is connected to um, probably to an ISP, which is um, an internet service provider that can access the internet, okay? And probably you can find a, let's say, a small, you know, plug and play wireless router, you know, B1 or, um, some other brand of uh, routers, right? Well, this is, looks like a human being, you know, it with just the eyes and and there we go. Yeah, a smiley face, right? Okay, cool. 
And if we will check the uh, what's uh, what's inside of here in the next slide, if we will to zoom what's in the spaghetti room, okay, uh, or the IT room in this headquarters, we will find devices like a router, okay, which is one of the components of the network. We'll find a switch, okay, this is router. This is a switch. A switch is the layer 2 device. We will, go, we will you know, um, look into deeper into the OSI and layering and stuff like that. Okay? This is a switch that gives access to multiple um, computers, printers, and IP phones, and so on. And in the switch, you could find a um, couple of like PCs, servers, workstations, and the printers. Uh, connected to the switch and the router does the uh, what's called routing to uh, take this data from the PCs and route it on the public internet through the ISP to the internet to allow the users to access whatever they need. Okay, so the types that uh, exist on the types of networks actually are the LAN. The LAN stands for a local area network. And the local area network is a computer network in a small area. It could be a floor of this building right here, right? Let's say the top floor. It could be uh, two floors. It could be the whole building. But remember that a LAN is a network uh, in a small uh, geographical uh, area, uh, if you will, right? Like home offices, enterprise companies, it could be campus, like in uh, universities and stuff like that. And we have the WAN. The WAN stands for Wide Area Network. The Wide Area Network is a network connection that extends beyond a broad or large geographical distances. Uh, for instance, it could be between cities, or between um, states, or between uh, countries, okay? That's the WAN. And the WAN, as you can see here, okay, the WAN is a collection of internet working devices like routers that are um, connected, ties together uh, in a gigantic web, form of web, okay? Uh, like something like that, okay, and that's called the internet, right? And let's say uh, this headquarters is located right here, and this router is maybe it's located in China, for example, and the PC that we want or server is located in China somewhere, okay? Let's say this is in United States, US, for example, and so on. So the internet is, uh, as you know, they say, the internet is network of networks. So uh, we have also other kind of um, uh, network types. We have the MAN, okay? We have the MAN, which stands for the uh, Metropolitan Area Network. Uh, and it could be between like cities um, and also we have the PAN. The PAN is personal area network. The personal area network is like Bluetooth, for example, if you have Bluetooth router and you know uh, other devices connected to, to each other via Bluetooth. This is called the uh, PAN or personal area uh, network. In, in the next slide, we will look into um, the network uh, components, okay? As you can see here, in the network components, we can see like uh, devices, inter-networking devices like routers, okay? And switches, those are inter-networking devices, okay? And also we can see end devices like PCs, web servers, printers, and so on. And of course, those devices are connected via Ethernet, which is the most popular type of media, okay? 
and we have the uh, cat5, cat5e, and also cat6, which is not yet standardized, but it's in use. I have one, I'm using right now one here in my home office. And we have network cards that allows the uh, connection between the PCs to the, uh, the upper layers um, devices like the switch and so on. And here we have the, um, the router that um, take the data from the local area network, which is the LAN, and forward it to the ISP via the WAN link, okay? And here in the, uh, this is, let's say this is the wall of the, uh, of the customer, okay? You have a router here, maybe it's wireless router, plug and play router or something. Uh, if you are talking about a, uh, home, for example. And you have the wall jack, either something like that, that, um, uh, uses a cable TV or a wall jack for DSL or ADSL or could be a fiber optic wall jack, okay? And here I draw this green line because this is the demarcation point, okay? This is the wall and this is the jack, right? Plug it into the wall. The demarcation point is the point where the end of the um, internet service provider responsibility ends, meaning that if something happened in uh, after the uh, demarcation point, it's the service provider responsibility. Okay, the internet service pro provider stands for um, ISP. Okay, we use the ISP more in uh, drawing and diagrams and stuff like that, but it stands for the internet service provider ISP so and if something happens you know in the inside the home then it's the customer responsibility and this is called CPE stands for a customer premises equipment which is equipment owned by the customer okay so in next slide we will see what applications or the application that uses the uh, network the application that uses network is the web browsing application, for for example, like um, Internet Explorer, right? And Firefox, Chrome, and many others, right? So those are uh, applications. Uh, instant messaging, like uh, Microsoft Link, okay? Like Skype, like Messenger, Google, instant messaging, all the applications that use um, video and text messages, SMS and stuff like that. We have also mail applications like Microsoft Outlook, okay, which is a mail client that talks to a mail server to, to send and receive the uh, emails, right? We have Gmail, we have the Hotmail and so on. Database applications, database application like MySQL or Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle SQL Server, the database that um, holds information about employees. Uh, for instance, like uh, most companies use a database to store um, employee files and store all the records and data that they have and they access it via a web browser, uh, for example, okay? So, and we have the most popular and the most uh, expensive, uh, you know, online games. So online games is becoming the uh, uh, most popular, you know, uh, type of application that uses a network. So, uh, after we uh, discuss the application that uses the network, let's talk about what are the network functions, what the network can do for us, right? Well, using the network, we can allow the user, the, users of net, the use of network can allow users to access and share printers, right? And also, uh, you can send email and receive emails and invoices from companies, right? Uh, we, have a lot, we have also the remote management. In our days, 
uh, you can um, log in remotely to devices, servers, um, printers, and do some diagnostics and stuff like that. Okay. And e-commerce. E-commerce are uh, the businesses that are running on the internet, like um, eBay, for instance, like eBay, like um, Amazon.com, which is uh, Amazon, okay, and so on, and many others. And also, um, network allows um, voice calls, right? Using the phone and using uh, voice over IP phones to uh, make calls. And also, video conferencing, okay? Uh, and after that, we uh, saw the network functions or we learned the network functions, we will move to uh, the network design. Actually, we have the, uh, the old topology or the bus topology. The bus topology actually is um, everything is connected uh, like in a bus. Everything is in one line like this, right? So, and here we have uh, the computers are plugged to the same wire. And here is used like the T, right? Okay. And the problem of the old bus technology using either um, thin net, thin net, okay, which is um, 10 base 2, 10 base 2, or thick net, thick net, I think it's, uh, it's like that, thick net, 10 base um, 5, I believe, uh, which all the devices or the computers are like to the same wire in this type of connection. And if this computer will send the data, okay, the data will go this way like this, right? And here we have like some kind of termination to terminate the, um, the data, okay? But let's say if this cable break right here, okay? Then the network is cut in half, okay? So uh, there is a lot of drawbacks to um, this kind of the old topology, right? And this is the bus topology. We can see it also in our days uh, let's say we have um, like switch, okay? We have switch here and connected to um, another switch like this, and this is a ba bus topology. But um, this is another kind of connection, not like in the old days connection. And the star topology, the star topology is like. Uh, couple of computers plugged to the same switch, right? Each one has its own port and plug it to the uh, switch that forms the star topology. And the benefits of the star topology is whenever there is a break, you know, in, uh, in the wire right here, it doesn't affect anything. It just affects this computer, this PC right here. You can just change the wiring or change the PC itself if the PC is defective and life is good, nothing is happened, right? And we have the token ring topology, the old token ring topology. The token ring works, works as uh, like this, okay? The token, this uh, PC for example, okay? There is a token, right? It's running on a circle and the computer that has the token has the right to send, okay? So this computer will send and the data goes through these devices to reach probably this device. But if there is a break in the wire right here, then the network is cut in half, okay? So um, to wrap up things that we have learned, we have learned um, the what is a network, Okay, what is a network? We learned what is a network. Okay, what is network? And the network is a collection of devices that can communicate 
together and share resources. Okay, we talked also about the types of network. We have the LAN, which stands for um, the local area network, and we have the um, the WAN. Okay, we have the WAN connection. The WAN. And we have the um, the man. I mean the man, the metropolitan area network. And we have the um, pen, personal area network. Okay, which is a couple of devices connected via Bluetooth. The man it could be between cities or in a big campus network, for example. The WAN um, is a computer network that extends beyond a long geographical distances, and the LAN is a local area network, a uh, computer network that is uh, that have a couple of devices plugged together in a small uh, or closed area. It could be a floor of building, it could be a couple of floors of building, it could be a whole building, it could be home office, uh, whole company, enterprise or um, a campus, okay? Uh, we talked also about um, the, uh, the components of the network, okay? Network components, components, components which are uh, mainly the uh, routers, routers, and we have uh, switches, Routers are layer 3 devices that do a routing, that forward traffic from one location to another or from source to a destination. Okay, and we have switches that operate in layer 3. Uh, there are actually other switches that operate in layer, um, I mean layer 2. There are switches also that operate in layer 3, but for now, Let's stick to layer 2 because uh, we'll talk about layering and the OSI and TCP IP models in the later in the series, okay? Uh, those are the internet working devices. And then we have the end devices, okay? Like PCs, for, for example, like um, servers, servers, uh, printers, printers and so on okay and we mentioned the applications that um, that uses the network like um, uh, web browsers like Firefox Chrome Internet Explorer and so on we talked about the functions of network like file sharing file uh, sharing share file Okay, uh, shared printers, calls, um, video, and uh, online gaming, for example, and so on. And we talked about um, the uh, network design, and we saw the three type of uh, topologies, right? We saw the star, okay, the star topology. All the devices are connected in a star topology, like a couple of PCs connected to the switch. We saw the uh, bus topology, okay? All the devices are connected to uh, the same wire uh, in line, okay? And we, see, we saw the token ring, right? Token a ring or a ring, okay? The token ring where the um, who has the token can send the data and we saw also the drawbacks of the bus and the token ring whenever there is a break in the wire uh, it cuts the the whole network in half so uh, i hope this has been informative for you and i would like to thank you for a viewing